So it's just a quick video showing the radio I got installed in my car. It's not really an in-depth review, just kind of like an overview of it. It's an Alpine radio with Apple CarPlay. You can see it's set up just got like an iPhone. I have my old iPhone hooked up to it. I got hotspot turned on, so I have to have like Apple Radio, Apple Music, the maps, and whatever else I have on here. So it's the GPS, the maps, it's set up just like the iPhone. It's going to show your last, last places you went. And it has the uh, suggestions at the top if you're looking for like guys, someone to eat, grocery store, coffee shops. So I'm going to click on this. Let me show you that information. You hit start. You can leave it on the screen. You turn guidance off. Uh, you don't have to stay in this app for it to run. So you want to go back to music. It's still going to be running up here. So if you have a turn coming up, it'll show up in the notification bar. It'll drop down. Uh, go on to the home screen of the music app. You need to browse by albums, artists, songs, recently added. So you click on an artist name or you just jump. Like, you don't have to scroll through every artist. You just jump to a certain one. Uh, click on that artist. It's going to show every album you have for that particular artist. So, then you click on it. Obviously, it's going to show the songs. So, the volume button and skip button is touch censored. And this is the home button for the home screen. You see your Apple CarPlay, OpsCore, Radio. Uh, I really don't use the radio. I actually never really used it. I just use uh, the Apple CarPlay, but you can put satellite radio on this as well. So going back to the home screen, uh, you have your settings like you would on any other radio. Audio settings, the tune, the speaker, subwoofer, or whatnot. Going back into this, uh, like I said, I got my iPhone 5 plugged up to it. It has also a um, Alpine app, so you can actually make your own tunings, um, browse other people's ones, as far as like tuning, like the speakers, so uh, woofer or whatnot. <coughs> so that's basically kind of like it. It's not too much to show. I'm just showing the radio because a lot of people ask me, did I do anything new or what's new, what's next? That's what's going on right now. I also ordered these tweeters off. Amazon, I'm going to get these installed. I think because I got like the regular Challenger, there's nothing there. It's space for the speakers, but there's actually no speakers there. So I'm going to get those installed. So I have like kicker, kicker tweeters, kicker door speakers, um, kicker in the back, in the deck. And I got an MTX 212 subwoofer in the trunk. Like I said, it's just a quick, quick look at it. It's not really an in depth review. Uh, it's raining outside right now, so I just decided to come out here and do this. Like I said, I mean, it's pretty simple. You On an iPhone, you already know like how iPhone is set up. It's basically set up that same way. Um, this is like a big upgrade from the one I previously had, the uh, factory one, because you can't really do much. Uh, you got Siri in here as well. I don't really use that too much. Home button, time. That's pretty much it. If you got like um, your actual phone hooked up to it, you can get the messages, um, phone calls, and any app that has Apple CarPlay, you do it show up on the screen. Let's see if I can go into it on here. And that's the screen, so you can customize that, add stuff, rearrange it, and it's gonna show up on here as well. However it shows on this phone, it's gonna show on the screen, so you customize how you want it to be. So that's that. That's the radio plan. So that's it for right now. Like I said, it's just a quick uh, overview. I should be getting this installed within like a week or two whenever I have to find time. Um, I'll also be checking out the um, local muffler shops in my area because I plan on swapping out the mufflers. I don't know if Super 10, Super 44s, maybe just do a resonated delete. Scrape pipes. I don't know yet. Uh, I'm just going to go and check it out and see, you know, what's going on with that. Uh, also, I didn't show this earlier, but 
so the iPhone's not plugged up in the regular UBS slot. It's a new slot made just for the iPhone. I mean, this cable charges it and connects it to the radio as well. I mean, you still have the charging port right here as well as the one that's over there. Uh, like I said, that's pretty much it for right now. I'll be making another video with like uh, showing more features. I don't know, you comment down at the bottom if you want to see like the settings or whatnot. Uh, and I'll be doing a video on this Alpine app as well because there's a lot of things you to tweak within here. But I didn't really do too much on here because I got to get my tweeters installed. So once I get those installed, I really get into this uh, a little bit more. So that's it for right now. Like I said, it's Alpine Radio, Apple CarPlay.